But for every California, we've got a Nevada that's blocking solar uh, installations. We've got West Virginia where Trump says he's going to put coal workers back to work. So if we're at 1% now in this country in solar, how do you get the rest of the country up to 50% like California by 2030? I mean, we have to do that if we're going to meet that 3.6 degree Fahrenheit. I, I'm, I've learned to use Fahrenheit now after the last panel for uh, climate change. I mean, don't forget that California is not the uh, biggest renewable state. You know, Texas, the carbon intensive state is, right? And, and, and so these things can happen very, very fast in ways that you wouldn't expect. Um, and, and so was it because everybody was green in West Texas? No, it was because of a bunch of uh, uh, red rock uh, uh, Republican uh, farmers and ranchers with enormous uh, uh, land with uh, gas wells all over them. Some wind developers came in and said, uh, hey, all this stuff blowing tumbleweeds across your landscape uh, uh, can make you money and royalties. So, so uh, uh, that adopted, like wildfire, at scale in ways that with California with the 20-year head start, passed it in 24 months, mm -hmm. right? So these things can happen very, very fast if you get the economics and incentives aligned. And by the way, that was then Governor Bush's very innovative RPS that was put mm -hmm. in place to, to uh, uh, accelerate that and it was copied. So uh, economics drives a lot. And it's not just uh, the economics of the few, it's how do you arrange economics so that all the places that that wind was happening in West Texas or need to happen in West Virginia or Nevada can be shared economics and bring communities up and get buy-in in ways that people are seeing. My PTA is funded, my scout troop is funded because these new energy sources and this innovation is diffused in a way that matters. But California has done it through legislation, right? The 50% the renewable is a, is a law that got sure. passed. So, the rest of the country, I don't, I don't see the red states passing that kind of regulation. My favorite phrase nowadays is accidental compliance. So a number of the states that most despise the Clean Power Plan are going to comply anyway. Um, and, and the reason is because of these dynamics of change. We, we did some very careful analysis of why the U.S. has uh, reduced its CO2 emissions faster than any country in history and to a larger degree. Most people think it's natural gas. Natural gas was number four out of four factors. Uh, the first one is one we don't want, which is a recession. Mm -hmm. uh, the second is energy efficiency, and this is sort of the invisible resource. And it's as big as renewables. It's as big as any other source by a long shot. When Andy was Assistant Secretary of Energy, he promulgated dozens of standards to just avoid energy waste. Uh, and these save consumers vast amounts of money, but there's no object there, so you don't see it. The third was renewable energy, new renewables. And the last was natural gas. And that's only if you don't count the methane emissions from natural gas, the fugitive emissions, mm -hmm. which of course would put it even further back. I mean, right. it's still number four, but a much smaller right. contributor. So, so it's underway, is it, the point. It's underway. Underway, is it, the point. It's underway. Underway, is it, the point.